Hi guys, welcome to the lesson of partial differential equations. So in today's class, we are going to discuss the uh, method of Cauchy characteristic for first order uh, PDEs, first order partial differential equations. And we will see how to solve the first order problems using the method of characteristics, okay? So first of all, uh, for the first order equation, uh, we have an equation of the kind du over, for instance, a times dou by u over dou by t plus b times dou by u over dou by x equals some function of u, right? So some function u, it may be a function of x and t. So we can have equation of this kind if it's a linear first order differential equation, then A and B can be simply uh, functions of uh, uh, T and X. All right, so for instance, we can have equation of this kind that X dava U over dava T plus T dava U over dava X equals U. Okay, so if we have a linear first order differential equation, partial differential equation, then we can have an equation of this kind. And the general form is given by this equation where we can write that A and B may be some functions of X and T. All right, or we can uh, write it in this way that a is a function of x comma t b is also a function of x comma t and it can be constant or it can be a function so it's a linear first order partial differential equation first order pd so for first order pds we have the classification in terms of linearity that is linear, semi-linear, quasi-linear, and then non-linear PDE. So we will discuss all those uh, forms and their solutions by using the Cauchy characteristic method. Okay, so let's take a problem. So we are given with an equation, for instance, that dava u over dava t plus five times dava u over dava x is equals to zero. Now in these conditions, uh, in these type of equations, we assume that our domain X is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Therefore, we don't need any boundary conditions. So we just need an initial condition and it's enough to find the solution of these problems. Uh, so we have initial condition that is U of X comma zero, which represents that it's an initial condition uh, that is at T equals to zero we have e to the power negative x squared. Okay, so first of all, the procedure to solve this, this kind of problem is to we will use the Lagrange forms. So what are the Lagrange forms actually? Is that, uh, for instance, uh, here where we write that a dava u or dava t plus b dava u or dava x equals u of x t, if we have equation of this kind, then we can write in this way that d t over a equals d x over b equals d u over u. All right, so this is called Lagrange form. We can write in this manner these uh, equations and then we can compare any of the two equations to solve the problem. So now here we can see that we have uh, dt over one because here's nothing but it's one equals dx over five because the coefficient here is five and then the u over zero. Okay. Now uh, we can see that we can easily compare these two equations these two equations so we can compare these two equations so we can write in this way that dx over dt equals 5 right because if we take this 
ratio that is dt over one equals dx over five, then by just cross multiplying, I can write this dx over dt equals five. And this is a simple first order separable differential equation. So therefore the solution is five t plus c one. Okay, so we get uh, x in terms of t and c1 is the constant. So we need to find this constant. And therefore, what we are going to do is we are going to take the other condition that is, uh, okay, uh, one more thing is that now I can write this as uh, c1 equals x minus 5t. Right, so call it equation number one. And then now I can use an other pair. It's up to you, whatever pair you want to use. You can use this pair with this pair, this this uh, ratio, or you want to use this pair with this ratio. It's up to you, right? So now we can simply, uh, what we can do is we can simply use these pairs. Let's uh, use this pair that is dx over five equals du over zero. So what we will get is dx over five equals du over zero, which means that du is going to be zero because when we multiply the zero here, we will get du over dx equals zero. So this implies that u equals some constant c2 when we integrate this one, this, this. Uh, equation we will get u equals c2 now uh, what we need to write is actually this c2 is actually the function of c1 right so this c2 here what we get c2 here this one is just a function of c1 what we get here so we can write that c2 equals function of x minus 5t so we can write C2 equals function of X minus 5T and just plug in this equation, say equation number two. So this equation two implies that U equals function of X minus 5T. So we get the solution in the form of a function, but now we will use the initial condition to get its particular solution. So we know that for initial condition that is u x comma zero is equals to e to the power negative x squared. So which suggests that what we need to plug here is for u we have e to the power negative x squared equals function of x as it is because here we can see that this x is as it is and for t we need to plug zero so it's minus zero so f of x equals e to the power negative x is squared all right now here is the key thing you need to concentrate on this thing what i will tell right now is that now this is function of x what we get here but what we need actually is not the function of x it's the function of x minus 5t here we can see that this is the function of x minus 5t. So if the function of x is e to the power negative x is squared, so what about this x minus 5t? So what we need to do is simply plug x minus 5t instead of x. So negative sign will remain as it is. Instead of x, we will plug in x minus 5t and squared will be as it is. So we get f of x minus 5t is a function of, uh, sorry, function of x minus 5t is nothing but exponential to the power negative x minus 5t squared. So the solution u, which was given by f of c1, will be f of x minus 5t will be negative x minus 5t squared. So the function or the solution, what we get is nothing but this function here. And we can verify 
you can verify very easily we can verify the initial condition we can verify the equation what we need to do is simply uh, differentiate this function partially with respect to t and then differentiate this with respect to x partially five times and equals to zero you will get this thing and you can verify the solution and also you can verify the initial condition as well if i plug you of x comma zero so eventually i am going to get e to the power negative x square so the equation this function should verify the initial condition and the equation as well so this is the key thing you can uh check your result that whether you have solved the problem uh in a right manner or not right so let's talk about the next problem so we have a problem okay now let's take another problem that is question number two and it's again it's a kind of same problem but uh some of the coefficients are different in this problem so it's uh, plus k so doesn't matter we have five in the previous problem and here we have k and here we have r u x comma t so now the right hand side is not zero but we have some function on the right hand side so it's a non-homogeneous PDE first order and the uh, initial condition is given some function of x all right so in the similar manner so this is nothing so it's one so we can write dt over one equals dx over k equals du over negative r u all right so now again we can use any of the two pairs so let's take these pairs first so we will get dt over dx equals or make it more simpler so write dx over dt equals k therefore by solving this equation we can get x equals kt plus c1 so implies that c1 equals x minus kt and in some of the books they represent these uh, constants in these uh, with these symbols so you don't need to worry about that because this is a constant whatever symbol you use it doesn't matter right so we are using c1 and c2 to make uh, to look uh, to make look uh, things simpler right so c1 equals x minus kt and again by using the other pair that is dx over k equals du or negative ru so dx over k equals du over negative ru so here we have a negative ru so it's negative r over k dx equals du over u so we can integrate both sides we have uh, negative r over kx plus c let's write plus c2 equals <clears throat> ln u okay so and uh, now one thing we can do just we can do is that because we want to get rid of this ln so we can take this constant c2 on the right side and with the ln so it doesn't matter because it's a constant so ln c2 so now we can raise to the exponential to get rid of this ln because we know that uh, we can raise it to the exponential so we will get e to the power negative r over kx equals u times c2 because we uh applied the property of log that is ln u plus ln c2 means u times c2 and ln outside so e cancels with ln and we left with c2 u equals this thing and again we can write c2 equals uh e to the power negative r over k x over u 
or I can also take the reciprocal and name it as uh, C3. So actually it doesn't matter because it's a constant, right? So, sorry. So it's C2 is this thing. And we know that the C2 is nothing, but it's a function of uh, C1. All right, so C2 is function of C1. Just uh, what we did here, it was uh, U equals, uh, for instance, here we can see that in this problem, U equals C2, we found U equals C2, but C2 is nothing but actually is function of C1. So I can write function of C1 in place of C2. So we can write function of C1 equals e to the power negative R over Kx divided by U. So now we can apply initial condition, but after plugging this x minus kt, so f of x minus kt, f of x minus kt equals e to the power negative r over kx divided by u. Now we need to apply the initial condition that is ux comma zero equals phi of x. So uh, it's f of x equals e to the power negative r over kx divided by phi of x in terms of, in place of this u. So we have f of x equals to this thing. So what we will get uh, if we need uh, f of x minus kt. So f of x minus kt is nothing but f of x minus kt will be nothing but it will be e to the power negative r over k x minus kt divided by phi of x minus kt. Okay, so this is our f of x minus t. So we can just plug here that e power negative r over kx so we can write uh, e to the power negative r over kx and uh, divided by u is equals to e to the power negative r over kx dot e to the power r over k times kt divided by phi of x minus k t. Okay, so now I can cancel this one with this one. So now I have u equals, now I have u equals uh, e to the power, uh, sorry, phi times x minus k t divided by e to the power r over kt or more precisely i can write u equals e to the power negative r over kt times phi into x minus kt all right so this is the solution to this problem in this manner we can solve these kind of problems and one mistake what i did here was i I forgot to cancel this thing. So here we will not have this. We will only have RT. So we will have only the thing that is RT. And here we will have negative RT. So this is a solution. So hope you guys will understand this lesson. This is a very, very important uh, topic and it's uh, very easy. So that's all for the time being. Thanks for watching the lesson and goodbye.